hey guys today in this video we are going to start building our lean-to shed slash shed slash pole barn <laughs> I've mentioned it in the past I've been told about wanting to do this um, can they see the, the shed yeah they can see it yeah so mentioned in the past I was wanting to build like an enclosed like lean-to it's gonna be about 10 foot tall over here it's going to drop down to about eight uh, two foot drop about eight foot and it's going to be almost 24 foot but it's going to be shy because of the way the pole barn's building inside the idea is i'm going to try to make this watertight using uh, these they fit the pro rib siding perfectly if you guys could make out the little ridges it fits inside the ribs or the ribs well, that's going to go up and then the ledger board or ridge board if i'm saying it wrong i apologize i'm not real good with the terms but anyway this is going to go up and then the ridge slash ledger board whatever it's called all the way across and then it's going to the idea is, is to make this watertight but if it's not watertight only thing that's going to be going out here is the gardening equipment like the riding lawnmower shovels nothing like machinery or anything like that so worst case scenario we're also making a backup plan that if i if it does tend to leak and i don't want it to leak we can cut the metal like most of you guys are probably thinking you need to be cutting the metal put flashing in there i understand it but i am making a backup plan to where i can do that if it's the case i can cut a big line down the metal slide some flashing in there because we got drill holes up there marked but to put flashing in there late on a later date Right. right now I'm about to be marking where each rafter is going to go every three feet. Okay, and that's where it's going to fall off. So we'll have a piece that's going to be two rafters going to be just shy of three foot, but shouldn't matter. We we'll have nailers, so we'll be we'll be good. This in. And I hold it up to the hole, right? The very far hole, yeah. You want me in the middle of the hole? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right now it's at 20 foot, 20 foot 7 inches. So we have a bat. Alright, so she's gonna have to spray some stuff back there. Try to get this bat seat to fly out. I hear him crawling in there. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, I just want to spray. She's spraying. What we're doing here is we're drilling holes, and she's white, so there again. Dude. There he is. There he is. Oh, he's right there. Yeah, he's wanting to come out. He's coming up the, he's out coming up the roof. Out the way. Dude. I don't think he can. Yeah, there man. he is. My man. Oh, hell no. My man, go that way. Dude. Maybe you should get down for a minute so maybe you can get out. As long as I get enough coverage, these don't have to be exactly perfect. The board has got to be yeah, exactly yeah. perfect. Yeah, our neighbor had to come over here and basically we, we took off to go get this stuff and he calls and says, yeah, Riley's in the run of the chicken coop, poking her, poking, putting her head where the babies live. And he's like, he's like, I was, he's nice enough to go over there and get her out of there and shut the run door. But yeah, so those dogs, I tell you, I know they're puppies, but get this I'm ready to get this ridge board up or whatever yeah me too so we're on the last part of the closure strips mm -hmm. so let's get these hung up and then next is the ridge board yep yeah, putting that ridge board up or ledger board up. I think it's ledger board I don't know well remember. the board whatever they yeah. whatever you want to the call it the piece of wood that goes across the <laughs> right now what we're going to be doing is just finishing basically the second half of that ridge beam I think this is the center 
uh, when you have a, a two brackets going down or a joist, that ledger board. Please tell me in the comments below what that thing's called. <laughs> it's, it's driving me nuts. Not knowing the proper term, you know what I mean? I mean, if you don't think you could do it this way, we're going to have to drill for a whole first, at least for this first one. You want to step on that ladder? Enough for you to at least line that up? That's tits. I'm, I don't like you standing with that leaning like that. Go level up on it. Got you now. That should be a good, strong, good, strong base to go for us to go off for the rafters. All right, guys, we uh, got both ladders up. Uh, it was a little iffy, scary, kind of nerve-wracking because the screws were not wanting to go through the metal, but with Daddy holding the ladder and everything, I was able to get enough poop and was able to get the screws through the metal, but we are done with the ledger, as you can see. Next, we'll be going down the sides from here. My finger's touching. We're going to go all down. Over here. And then we're going to go down here. And then that'll be our frame to the start of the Lean 2 Mini Pool Barn. So I hope you guys are enjoying this video. And hope you guys subscribe and like the video. Alright, so we, got the, we also got the side pieces here. We got them screwed in. best we could. We got the ledger boards up. The other side piece is up over there. Uh, we're going to call it a night. We got our kids are actually, both of our boys are coming over hanging out. Hey, good morning everybody. For day two of us building the lean-to shed slash mini pool barn. Uh, but as Daddy's gathering things together, I'm going to take you guys along with me, and we're going to check and see if we have any eggs. Okay, so I'm just going to unlock the nest box. Of course, he's going to put his two cents in. Um, so, nothing in that one. Nothing. Oh my goodness. Yes, we got one. Must have been just big. Um, this is a small, small brown egg. Hey guys. Uh, well, we're getting started on the building of the lean to. Right now, we are squaring out <coughs> so we can start to auger and set the post. Yeah, looking good.
getting low on fuel, but. Technically, the last hole. Yeah, but until I have to beat it myself up trying to yeah, get, get the other ones that have roots in them. But. Oh, yeah, and this nine really considered roots. I think it's the whole trunk. Two yeah. or two of those. It's not good. <laughs> So I've got my um, girts started, the tops and the bottoms, and over here I've got the bottom. So I get the top on there. I'm gonna have a uh, baby girl help me hold that one up so I can pop that one in. As for this area here, the outside wall, I'm gonna um, take a break from that because. It really is killing my back quite a bit. But um, it's been a pain because I said there again, the right here with all this mulch right here was a huge tree about the size of that big guy right there. I decided not to do a play-by-play -play for you guys. I didn't want to bore you guys too much on it. So I'm just kind of give you guys updates here and there on how I'm about going about doing it. But anyway, so my tractor riding a little more it's well under five foot wide and I looked it up in case if I ever wanted to get a bigger actual tractor in the future that I'd be able to fit it in here and that should be plenty you know I'm not never going to get some real huge tractor I mean it just don't no need for it here I mean I want a guy acre I'm getting real excited about it I mean it's it's coming it's coming together but I'm still fighting with roots. I mean, it's just, it, it is nuts. I mean, which I knew it was coming, but I didn't know it was going to be this bad. Yeah, it, it's been it's been quite the um, challenge, and I will defeat the challenge. I don't give up. I will get it. Well, thanks for sticking around for, so far, guys. I hope you guys, again, subscribe to the channel so you guys can keep updated on the build. But anyway, I'm out of here, guys. Talk to you later.